Can you tell the story of how you ended up in Oakland? What did you find when you got here? I was originally on my way to Seattle, Washington. I had traveled around different places, working here and there. I would drag up or just quit a job and move on. And I heard about the Bay Area. Different ones were talking about it, so I decided to check it out myself. Ended up here in Oakland. Then I went to San Francisco and I was back and forth. But um, I found a contingent of Native Americans. Everybody said, yeah, give those guys a couple weeks, they'll fall apart. And now look at us 10 years later. All of this here happened with the help of God. So what kind of things did he have to say about Native history in Oakland? He was talking about how when IFH first started and like some protests that have gone on and like how it was how IFH was in the beginning and how it's changed. What role has IFH played in your life? Well, I've been going to IFH since I was four when it like on um, when they still had like a lot of the activities like um, making arrowheads and like when they had the first original like beating classes and dance classes and stuff like that when Stewie and Aurora was there teaching and um, I used to always go there every Thursday and it was a place where I could go to instead of going straight home um, and it was a place that was I felt safe. What do you see as the challenges young people today face in maintaining cultural and community ties? Uh, I would I would suggest that they remain in close contact with family and relatives and to always uh, try and maintain a standard of living and to respect themselves and others and to show by example what what their capabilities are and to never give up and to always keep with the struggle and to do better for themselves. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs>